You have the measuring system for the cube system that does your auto compensation for um, your wheels. You have your probing system to measure all your angles and then you also have a microphone pickup that will put the wheels in the position that it needs to be in when it touches off on the blade. All right, hey guys, Eric Hewlin here with MTD CNC, and today we have an extra special treat for you. I am filming with Lloyd from Balmer in the CSF 860. Now, it's a grinding machine for the flank. That means the side of the tool. And 860 is the diameter that it is capable of handling up to. Now, what's cool about this machine, well, I guess we'll ask Lloyd. <laughs> So basically, this is the, the new machine that's replacing the CHF 270. That, that machine's been around probably since 2003. Um, and what this one's capable of doing compared to the old one is you have a better measuring system. You have three measuring systems on it. You have the measuring system for the cube system that does your auto compensation for um, your wheels. You have your probing system to measure all your angles. And then you also have a microphone pickup that will put the wheels in the position that it needs to be in when it touches off on the blade. The new software that's on this machine, which we discussed before, is this optimization software, which is a learning software. So the grinding optimization software, what that gives you, without it, you gain 4% from the older machine, and with it, you gain 24% of productivity time with it. So it is a big advancement on the machine. All the, all the motors on this machine are direct drive, absolute, so there's no more referencing, um, much more stronger, more torque. You can cut a lot more off, but it's, it's not recommended it, because it's just not good for the blades or the wheels. And uh, Lloyd, one thing, if I understand correctly, with the servos on everything, everything in the machine servo, and with all your absolute encoders, you can actually put in warnings to tell you when the grinding wheel is starting to get close to being replaced, correct? Yes. Yeah, so on both machines, you can put in warnings and dimensions of when it reaches that diameter then it'll come up and say grinding wheels are worn off and that just gives you that this way you're not grinding aluminum or crashing things into the, the salt blade and all that while you're running lights out if you had a loading system on it nice. yeah and that keeps you right you don't have to dress these wheels they can just be loaded and it all depends on how you're grinding how the customer uses the machine normally if you're grinding at normal speeds which means you have to figure out what your cutting speed is going to be and how the wheels are going to react to that. So your grinding, grinding speed and your feed speeds of your wheels, you have to get that to the point and then the wheels will start to self-clean themselves. But if the customer is grinding too heavy, too aggressive, then every so often you're going to have to come in and dress the wheels. That makes sense. And uh, one thing you were kind of talking about as far as you know these machines being modular and these systems being modular, you do have the option on the side of the machine for the robot entry, for the robot door for automation. Correct. Correct. So you have three different, three different sizes you can put on here. You can put a single three-station stack for just one machine on it, a five-station, or a seven-station. That gives you the flexibility to add machines to that loader later. All right. So uh, with with the automation, with the robot door and the loading, you know you have your servos. This thing's fully IoT capable. So yes, the IoT system on this is you can connect it to your network and you can use Node Red. And what Node Red is is you can program that to either call your operator if, if something happens in the middle of the night it'll show the error message up to the operator so he can either come back in and either reset or figure out what happened and also Volmer can look at it as well to see what's going on and that gives the customer the flexibility between us to see exactly what error messages came up prior to the last one to troubleshoot and try to get either the parts needed or a simple fix uh, um, over the phone. Yeah, that's awesome. So you can probably just set up an alarm to wake you up in the middle of the night and get you out of bed. Yes, if, you uh, can do that, yes. <laughs> that's, that's but not for me. <laughs> <laughs> let him sleep, let him sleep. <laughs> um, so uh, one thing I thought was uh, pretty cool about you guys is you talk to your customers and you get feedback. Um, and on your control, you not only have the touch screen where you can select your inputs and then have a touch screen keyboard, but you kept the mouse yes. and the, key, the standalone We well. kept that for the older generation, which is me. <laughs> and the, the touchpad is for the newer newer uh, operators that are being hired and coming in because everything's touch now. So it makes the older operators feel a little bit more comfortable that they can press a physical key instead of pressing something here. So And they, keep, they kept the interface exactly the same as what the predecessor was even up to 10 years ago 
the screens are very similar. So the learning curve is um, a lot less than um, revamping this and then not knowing where anything's at. Yeah, that's perfect. And and that's really what makes a successful company, in my opinion, is those that will ask their customers and get that feedback and yeah. take that in. And um, I'm sure they love that the control doesn't change that often, right? No, no. And like I said, the learning curve for these is not going to be too bad for somebody that already has a CHD 270 or a CHF 270. They're going to have to get used to different positions. I'm getting used to it now because I've just been recently trained on this myself. So I'm looking for keys and positions that are now in a different position because the control panel has changed a little bit. Okay, awesome. Well, all right, guys, this is the CSF 860, first of its kind in North America. So check it out. Get one today for your grinding needs. Uh, thank you, Lloyd. You're welcome. Thank for the you. Conversation today. Uh